England expects that every man will do his duty. From Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, www.wikipedia.org. Recorded on April 21st, 2005. England expects that every man will do his duty was a signal sent by Admiral Horatio Nelson, First Viscount Nelson, from his ship HMS Victory as the Battle of Trafalgar, 1805, was about to commence. Trafalgar was the decisive naval engagement of the Napoleonic Wars. It gave the United Kingdom control of the seas, removing all possibility of Napoleonic invasion and conquest of Britain. The phrase has become extremely well known in Britain as a result of Lord Nelson's fame and the importance of the Battle of Trafalgar in British history. Generations of British schoolchildren have been taught about Trafalgar alongside other seminal moments of British history, such as the Battle of Hastings, Magna Carta, the Gunpowder Plot, and the Blitz. The phrase is known so widely in Britain that it has entered the British popular consciousness. Today, England expects, as an abbreviated version of the phrase, is often adapted for use in the media, especially in relation to the expectations for the victory of English sporting teams. Signals during the battle. As the British fleet closed with the opposing combined fleets of France and Spain, Lord Nelson signaled all the necessary battle instructions to his ships. However, aware of the momentousness of events to come, Lord Nelson felt that something extra was required. He instructed his signal officer, Lieutenant John Pascoe, to signal to the fleet the message, England confides that every man will do his duty as quickly as possible, that is, England trusts. Pasco later wrote, quote, His lordship came to me on the poop deck, and after ordering certain signals to be made about a quarter to noon, he said, Mr. Pasco, I wish to say to the fleet, England confides that every man will do his duty. And he added, You must be quick, or have one more to make which is for close action. I replied, If your lordship will permit me to substitute the confides for expects, the signal will soon be completed, because the word expects is in the vocabulary and confides must be spelt. His lordship replied, in haste and the seeming satisfaction, That will do, Pasco. Make it directly. When it had been answered by a few ships in the van, he ordered me to make the signal for close action, and to keep it up. Accordingly, I hoisted number 16 at the top gallant masthead, and there it remained until shot away. Unquote. At 11.45 a.m. on October 21, 1805, the most famous naval signal in British history was sent. The signal was relayed using the numeric code devised by Sir Home Popham. This code assigned the digits 0 to 9 to 10 signal flags. These flags, in combination, represented code numbers, which were assigned meaning by a code book, distributed to all Royal Navy ships, and weighted with lead for disposal overboard in case of capture. The code numbers were hoisted on the mizzenmast, one after another, with the telegraph flag also being flown to show that the signals employed Popham's code. The word duty was also not in the code book and had to be spelt out, so the whole message required twelve lifts. This is believed to have taken about four minutes. A team of four to six men, led by Lieutenant Pasco, would have prepared and hoisted the flags. The message, engage the enemy more closely, was Nelson's final signal, sent before a single English cannon had been fired at the enemy. This message was signaled using flags one and six. After the battle. Almost immediately, the signal began to be misquoted. A number of ships in the fleet recorded the signal as, England expects every man to do his duty, omitting that. And this version became so prevalent that it is recorded around the base of Nelson's column, on his tomb in St. Paul's Cathedral, and on the memorial built in 1807 by his friend and agent, Alexander Davison. However, the victory's log and the accounts of signal officer John Pascoe and Henry Blackwood, captain of the frigate Euryalus, both present at the preparation of the signal, agree on the form given here. The signal is still hoisted on the victory at her dry dock in Portsmouth on Trafalgar Day, October 21st, every year, although the signal flags are displayed all at once, running from fore to aft, rather than hoisted from the mizzenmast in the order actually used in the battle. Consult also maritime flags and international maritime signal flags. A sister project of Wikipedia, Wiki Quotes, has a page of quotations by and about Nelson. En. Wik. 
K-I-Q-U-O-T-E dot O-R-G slash W-I-K-I slash Admiral underscore Nelson. External links. National Maritime Museum. www dot N-M-M dot A-C dot U-K. The Historical Maritime Society on the Misquotation www.hms.org.uk slash n-e-l-s-o-n-s-n-a-v-y-e-e dot h-t-m About Nelson www.aboutnelson.co.uk slash E N G L A N D percent two zero E X P C T S dot HDM Royal Navy WWW dot Royal dash Navy dot MOD dot UK slash static slash ages slash four seven four six dot HTML Recorded April 21st, 2005. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.